which is bizarre to say the least. Yeah, we'll need to bump the brightness up on this one. Right, tonight you're driving 2900 class number 292929 St. Stephen at the head of the nightly Great Western Travelling Post Office up service. The 640 from Penzance to Paddington. The train is made up of a brake coach, three TPO sorting vans, two TPO baggage vans and two siphon G vans that were added at Plymouth. You are currently stopped just outside Alla Junction and the next stop is at Newton Abbott to have another brake coach attached. When the signal clears, begin by driving to Newton Abbott and stopping in the up through line. That'd be the signal cleared then. doing now for speed limit 60 miles an hour 1.54 let's get this thing moving got a train over there look But an ATC bell gives us a good, a good hint of what's to come off. How does the mail drop off work? As long as you're going between 15 and 70 miles an hour, it's all fully automatic. If you're outside of that range, it just doesn't work. Hey, Arnold Ace Rimmer. Evening, Matt and Chat. Always nice to come home from work to a stream. Thank you very much, Arnold Ace Rimmer. Have we taken the handbrake off? It does appear to be moving a little bit more sprightly, doesn't it? It's not so much a drop-off, as it's an exchange, because there's a pick-up and a drop-off. Newton Abbott through line. Whistle. Lovely whistle.
stop here. Apparently we've got to get this other uh, siphon wagon. Oh, I see. So we're going to pull forward and then come back and get that on the back of the train. That's a control space whistle. Normally, the station pilot will bring the brake coach and couple it to the rear of the train, but due to the bad weather and the fact that the train team can't do it, bad uh, the pilot is not available at this time. You have been given permission to drive past Newton Abbott branch platform to just before the signals at the end of the bridge. You should then reverse into the platform and couple the brake coach to the rear of the train. Can't see anything dot com. So we've got to come in there and then pull the way back. Got a green light. Is there special track linked assets? Yes, there is. That is how it works. That's the bridge, I guess, that we need we don't want to go past. And there's the crossover the dialogue that we need to come back to. Not quite far enough. We changed. Yep, yeah, changed. What kind of train is this uh, now? One bar. It's a steam engine, uh, and it's a. Um, it's very difficult to see because it's a nighttime scenario. On my screen, it's it's very very dark indeed. Um, but it's um, yeah, it's a it's a travelling post office. Lovely creaking as things get moving. A couple of coaches been coupled to the train. Now drive non stop to Exeter, allowing the post office staff to make TPO exchanges at Timmouth, Dawlish, and Exminster. The first TPO exchanges at Timmouth in five miles. Remember the speed restriction of between 15 and 70 miles per hour for TPO exchanges. Oops. 
got green and a distant green. Fifteen limit. Let's bear that in mind, shall we? Oh, we're running about three minutes late. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, 45 limit now. Do you fail the scenario? Yeah, if you fail the exchanges, they're supposed to fail the scenario. Fingers crossed, turning off harbour acceleration in flash seems to have solved your AMD driver crashes. Oh, very good. Nice one, Arnold. Good, we've got the bell. There we go, there's the travelling post office car. Sixty limit going up to seventy five. Still losing time though. Is this passenger as well? Yeah, we just picked up a passenger coach on the back. I think the first thing we're going to do is lose a whole load of points by the looks of it. Stars in the water. Stars? Okay, never mind. Andy T, ever played for partnership? Yeah, many, many times. But up until uh, I think we're almost at the point now where it might be we might be able to get it. But uh, up until recently, the, we're having the Minecraft stream on has lowered the average quite considerably. But now the Minecraft stream has been moved, so it's done two streams over on YouTube now instead of on Twitch. Um, the average viewership is coming right up. Um, so I'm hoping that that will uh, that will make it a bit more favourable. Do need to remember though that we have to be doing 70. Actually, it's a 60 limit coming up anyway. Let that fire go way too far. Back off the power. Speed to 60. Scenario currently has player double headed Hoovers, four steamers, two HST yellow sets, a double headed tractor clay empties, and a double headed chopper log train. Nice. Nice. I like what I'm hearing. I haven't yet found out what the ideal fire mass is on this loco. 
which is a problem. Can't really see clearly in there, but not at the moment. Get the blower going while the uh, throttle is off, which will help get the boiler pressure back up while we're uh, topping up the firebox. Minimum viewer average for Twitch partnership. They um, have recommended to me 100 to 125 average every stream. The problem with Minecraft is it was sort of averaging 30 <laughs> if you were lucky. Right. I want to go that way. There we go. Hopefully this will work. Oh, look, that one's out. Look. Done. Caught that one. Right, successful exchange made. Sixty limit. Blower's going, we're under 60. Firebox is closed, we plunge into darkness. Well, as a streamer you follow, must average about 60. The thing is, once you've got partnership, you can stream once a month and have four people watch you, and you won't lose your partnership. So it's difficult to tell. There's also people have got partnerships because they've got other successful medium like YouTube and so forth. I mean, one of the streamers I saw had um, an average viewership. She said on the stream of in the order of, 30, of sort of 60 or so, and she got a partnership. Um, but it's because she has a quite a large YouTube channel. No, I don't have a particularly large YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, it needs a lot more than 10,000 to be a large YouTube channel. We missed that one. We've done it. We want to fill the water. Now I've got loads of water. Didn't get to see it though, never mind. Minor fail. Riviera in the 50s is really good route, it really is. It's an absolute visual treat. I didn't see it, but the exchange worked. So that's what that's what matters from the scenario perspective, really.
Right, next Mr. TPO next. I'm really suffering on boiler pressure. I don't. I need to find out what the ideal fire mass is on this because I think I'm way under firing. Am I going to the North Yorkshire Moors Gallery? Uh, gala. I wasn't planning on it. the water levels up. Oh yeah, yeah the water levels are not too bad. So it's control T to operate the water, uh, the water thingy is it? The water trough scoop? More greeniness. Got up to 1021 pounds now. Fire mass is uh, still going up. It's not something I could say positively for us, uh, our speed, but at least the boilers, the water's staying up. scoop is destroyed. <laughs> Is it now the boiler pressure will come up? I think it's because I'm under firing it, Baked Bean Kid. I'm really under firing it. I mean, we're still gaining ge steam generation rate. And um, we're still firing, so uh, yeah, I've, I've been. Got the water troughs going. water trough retracted. That pulled on about 2,000 gallons. Not to be sniffed at.
Right, X Mister up main and to TPO. And then another five miles, so four, three or four miles after that we'll be uh, wanting to stop. That's good, it means we can justifiably hang around. Miles ago. Just don't go over 70, <laughs> otherwise we'd fail it. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I was busy getting the right view. Oh well. Let's get to the end. Seventy point two. Ah, TB TPO travelling post office. Going to ignore the views from now on. <laughs> Two point eight miles to Exeter up loop. White Mead, the Saint is a Great Western loco, so you can use it for um, passenger or freight. I think. I don't know, I must admit. Certainly freight. I'm just basically big mortgaging the boiler at this point. Two miles to go. getting used to this. I'm trying to put on a good show, that's the problem, and probably putting on a, a better show by messing it. 70.2 is indeed above 70, yeah. <laughs> Get up this grade and then I can start powering off. Next to St. Thomas. Fine, that's just warning us because the distant is on. Panic over. Gets us down to the 25 to coast into extra up loop. Not AWS, called ATC. This is Great Western time.
just looks lovely coming into this station, it really does. And that's us here. One more run with the same. We got in about on time. 876, I'll take that silver. The two Siphon G vans will now be added to the Great Western TPO up service before it continues its journey on to Paddington via Bristol, arriving at 3.55, where it will be shunted, turned, and prepared to return back to Penzance as the down service, leaving Paddington at 22.10. Every night, this remarkable service travels to and from the southwest of England, sorting and delivering post, a service it has performed since 1855. There you go, folks. You've learned something tonight. Well, you might have, if you didn't already know that. What do we get? Oh, nothing, because I failed the scenario. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I'll have to have another go at that at some point. All right, then, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Maybe when I'm a bit less tired. <laughs> um, I'll see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock, for more trains. And uh, we'll see if we can do a better job. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.